Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. To begin, I want to express my sympathies to those who have lost loved ones to COVID or the recent gun violence in Boulder and Atlanta. In difficult times, we are reminded of what connects us as Americans, the hope that we can make things better for our families and our communities. And we at Google are committed to that work. I joined Google because I believe the internet was the best way to bring the benefits of technology to more people. Over the past three decades, we have seen how it's inspired the best in society by expanding knowledge, powering businesses, and providing opportunities for discovery and connection. I'm proud that anyone can turn to Google for help, whether they are looking for vaccine information, learning new skills on YouTube, or using digital tools to grow their businesses. In 2020, our products helped 2 million US businesses and publishers generate $426 billion in economic activity. We are energized by the opportunity to help people at scale and humbled by the responsibility that comes with it. Thousands of people at Google are focused on everything from cyber attacks to privacy to today's topic, misinformation. Our mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Core to while combating misinformation. It's a big challenge without easy answers. 500 plus hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. And approximately 15% of Google searches each day are new to us. 18 months ago, no one had heard of COVID-19. Sadly, coronavirus was the top trending search last year. Staying ahead of new challenges to keep users safe is a top priority. We saw the importance of that on January 6th, when a mob stormed the US Capitol. Google strongly condemns these violent attacks on our democracy and mourns the lives lost. In response, we raised up authoritative sources across our products. On YouTube, we removed live streams and videos that violated our incitement to violence policies and began issuing strikes to those in violation of our presidential elections policy. We removed apps from the Play Store for inciting violence and stopped ads referencing the 2020 election or the Capitol riots as part of our sensitive events policy. We were able to act quickly because we were prepared ahead of the 2020 elections. Our reminders of how to register and vote were viewed over 2 billion times. YouTube's election results information panels have been viewed more than 8 billion times. We also work to keep campaigns safe from cyber attacks and protect platforms from abuse. After the December 8th safe harbor deadline for states to certify elections, we removed content from YouTube that alleged widespread fraud changed the outcome of the election. This past year, we've also focused on providing quality information during the pandemic. Globally, we've committed over $550 million in ad grants for COVID-related PSAs to governments, health organizations, and nonprofits. On YouTube, our COVID information panels have been viewed over 400 billion times. We also removed 850,000 videos and blocked nearly 100 million COVID-related ads throughout 2020. Across all of this work, we strive to have transparent policies and enforce them without regard to politics or point of view our ability to provide a range of information and viewpoints, while also being able to remove misinformation is possible only because of legal frameworks like Section 230. It's foundational to the open web, which has been a powerful force for good for so many. I look forward to sharing more about our approach today and working together to create a path forward for the web's next three decades. Thank you.